Oh, oh, okay. So Pride is this month. Yay. Yay, Pride. Um, so, the, I mean, there's a lot of, like, the conservatives have been attacking gay rights and trans rights and all that. And there have been over 400 uh, anti-trans bills just this year that the Republicans have pushed. Uh, they just banned trans They're putting a lot of energy into that, man. They're yeah. putting a lot of energy into that. Yeah, it's well, it's funny too because, like, you think trans people, and it's such a marginalized group, and they're only like what three, three or four million of them in the U.S. Maybe they're not that many of them, they're less than a percent, right? I mean, in the whole scope of things, that's yeah, I mean, it's plenty of people, but comparatively, it's a low number, right? Right, well, they're three million is still a big, yeah, three million is still a big number of people, but it's not big enough for them to really have a lot of power or, or do anything. Not enough for the Republicans to be worried in any way. Not that they should be worried anyway, but no. yeah, the amount of energy they're pouring into. Well, yeah. Anyway, problems. anyway, their their media campaign and stuff. I mean, I don't know if it's worked that much. We can. They're, we're going to discuss it here, but because um, we did the Bud Light thing, and they all upset about that, and tried to boycott it, and and their whole thing is we're going to boycott all these companies that don't meet our cultural agenda when it comes to gay people and black people and whatever. But here's a, here's a quick story from, uh, I think it's just NBC on this on companies, uh, and how, how that's all affecting them. It's pride month and there's no missing its kickoff. Rainbow flags are everywhere. There are t-shirts and hats. Apple has a watch. Absolute vodka has a special bottle. Companies have got more involved in pride as a sign of how the whole culture is changing. But this year, the landscape has shifted. You are going to get rainbow vomit on everything across corporate America. Some corporations stepping into a fierce fight over transgender issues. It plays out in state houses. When you bow your heads in prayer, you see the blood on your hands. And on cable news. The same people who encourage minors to have life-altering hormones and surgery on their genitalia and even begin transitioning without parental consent, they have done and are doing enormous damage to young people. Target moved its Pride Month merchandise, including a transgender-friendly bathing suit, to the back of some of its stores after customer backlash. Hey, these are, like, naked people in shirts. Its stock price dropped more than 15% in two weeks. I got some Bud Lights for us. Bud Light marketed a customized can featuring transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney, triggering an outcry. Sales dropped nearly 30%. There are calls to boycott Kohl's because of its pride-themed baby clothes, and North Face, the outdoor company, as well. We like to call this little tour the Summer of Pride. Transgender issues still seem strange and scary to people. 20 states have passed bans on transgender medical treatment for minors. Does this very angry debate cast a shadow over some of the progress that has been made? I think everyone is aware that issues that seem to be settled just a few years ago are up for grabs again. Pride organized... Well, anyways, so that's... It has damaged companies a little bit, but I think it's... It's a little bit more complicated than they want to make it. Because part of the issue with the Bud Light thing and the sales dropping is, is it wasn't so much that, that it was people that were anti-trans boycotting. It was just that your average person, they're for transgender rights. They just don't want to get involved. And so it's like, normally I'd order a Bud Light at the bar, but I don't want to get in a fucking conversation about this. I do think. I do think that's what it is. Um, I honestly can't say that I've ever altered my order somewhere because of a conversation I wanted to avoid. And I am somebody who will try to avoid certain conversations because they sound like a headache. I, I really I will. <laughs> not about this topic in particular, but no, no, so I, I guess that's all for me. I think that's part of it, but I don't think I don't think that all the trans haters saying well, we're not drinking Bud Light anymore is going to drop their sales by a third. I don't think there's enough of them. There's just not enough. I mean, honestly, you can't say that unless everybody who drinks Bud Light is anti-trans. 
In which case, Bud Light's marketing should have known that. All right, so let me offer an idea. And this is kind of just off the top of my head here, but so when I think of that particular beer and beers like it, sure. I actually think about my home state, which is a red state. I grew up in North Dakota, and I, I think about these smaller places. When I think about these more liberal places, Portland, where you are, New York, where I am, I I don't really think about people drinking like Bud Light. I think about people drinking micro brews and all of that kind of thing, too. And so it also makes me think about where, like, where in general does this company have the most sales and are they red states? I don't know. And I, I, I think they're just trying to reach out to a bigger audience. When, when, you, when you talk about things like Bud Light or uh, what was it Pabst Blue Ribbon and any of these cheap beers, you know what yeah. I, I always think of college. College students, sure. dollar beer night, man. Fucking Bud Lights for a buck. <laughs> I mean, but in in these red states and smaller towns and such, the, these sort of less expensive beers that we think of as like the beer we drank in college, right, are still the ones being consumed by people beyond those ages, oh, right? As but opposed to when we exited college, sure. Still drinking beer at all, but we're drinking like a microbrewery. Sure, and you can make the argument that okay, so groups like Kohl's and Target and Bud Light are predominantly drank by people in red states because they're lower income in general, right? You could make that argument. I don't look at any actual data. On I don't. It, I, mean, I don't have. Logic on it. I don't have any data on it. I mean, we could speculate that. Right, I would also right. speculate that that's not entirely the problem. The problem is, is that it's it's a, become a political issue. So even if I were to go to the bar now and say, "Hey, I just want a Bud Light," I'd probably just say, "No, give me a Pabst," just so I don't have to fucking have the discussion. Hmm. Because they're both equal. Because so there's other options there, right? So. Okay, so I want to I want to ask our audience below because my mind is blown and and I'm totally willing for Duncan to be right. I I have no stake in it either way, but I absolutely want you guys to tell us in the comments below. Or email us if you think we're wrong and come on the show and we'll yeah. fucking talk about. So it. Does, does this idea of Duncan's really seem to hold water? It's mind blowing to me that people would do this. So you should tell us in the comments below. But do you think people did but, they really do this? Are they really not ordering a Bud Light? when they normally would just because they kind of don't want to end up in the conversation. That seems uh, super weird to me. I don't know. Um, let me look at this though. Let's, cause I wanted to talk about this. Cause when you look at, um, this is just Gallup. Um, can you see these graphs? Okay. Are they a little too small? They're a little small. All right. Let's see if I can, without screwing this up. Let's see if Ty can do this. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. Okay, good. So, uh, this is just uh, from Gallup. So they're looking at, do you think marriage between same-sex couples should or should not be recognized as law? And this is just from 96 to today, right? And the should be valid went from 27%. And here we skip forward, whatever, what is it, 28 years later? 26, 26 years later. And 71%, right? It's totally flipped. Literally, because the should not be valid went from 68 down to 28. So it almost literally the exact opposite, yeah. almost to the number. Yeah, it completely flipped. And then this is just the, the raw numbers on that. Um, what was? Let me show this. Uh, do you think marriage between same six couples? Yeah, da, 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 what was it? How you feel about the state of the nation, each of the following areas for each one of these, blah, blah, blah. Very satisfied somewhat, but if you don't have, uh, how about the acceptance of gays and lesbians in the nation, right? Very satisfied to very dissatisfied, right? And you see, that's kind of been consistent, but that does that question doesn't say if you're accepting or not. Um, but gay and lesbian relationships, 
they think is morally acceptable, morally wrong, 25%, and that's recent. Now let's go back to 90, or this is just 2001. See, it went from 40 to 71% versus morally wrong, 53% to 25%. And that's in 21 years. It flipped, right? So you're seeing a huge difference and a giant acceptance now. And you can go through this whole thing later on if you guys want to. But uh, what was this? Uh, was there anything else in here that was interesting? No, not really. But um, I mean, that's all. That whole thing was actually really good. You just, but you should check it out. But the whole thing is that's the point is it's changed. So I don't think that there's that many people right saying oh man i am so upset about a transgender person drinking a beer that i'm just not going to drink that brand anymore i don't think that uh, there's that significant amount of the population that it's going to knock their sales by 30 percent. that's a big fucking sales drop i don't think that's what it was i would assume that you know based on the percentages we see the you know roughly 30 percent are morally opposed that would say all of them were Bud Light drinkers and every single one of them stopped drinking Bud Light because of it. Right. And you might be right that that's the pretty. Odds of that being, the odds of that being. True. That, yeah. There's got to be some other factor, which was my argument. I mean, it could, be, it could be part of it. You know, maybe maybe half of the people who were, you know, morally opposed were Bud Light drinkers and stopped it or, or something, but it kind of seems like it couldn't be all that. It has to be well, different. it could be that they did that. And then after that, because most of the owners of Bud Light are Republican, they apologized to Bud Light, or but they apologized to the Republican conservatives for having Dylan Mulvaney. It could be that they had a lot of trans Bud drinkers and gay Bud drinkers that went, don't apologize to them. Fuck you. I'm not drinking Bud Light anymore. <laughs> I'm okay. switching to Pabst. <laughs> Um, so here's, here's another idea. Um, could it be more companies that are, that are beer carrying companies that are owned by conservatives taking it upon themselves to at least maybe temporarily not be carrying it? I don't, I don't think that's it. I think a lot of it, um, like the coal stuff and the target stuff is I think a lot of it is, is just, there is a lot of hatred around the LGBTQ stuff. There's a lot of like anti-trans bills coming out. Like we said, 400 anti-trans bills just this year. Um, and I think a lot of people are, it's scary. Um, in fact, uh, gun ownership has gone up dramatically, mainly for trans and gay people because they're scared. And so they're arming themselves, which makes sense when you think about it. I mean, and so it's one of those things where it's like, you know, do you, I can see where like your average normal person just is like, I don't even want to fucking, because I, I might run into some crazy person in a MAGA hat who's going to throw a fucking tantrum and start throwing beer in a grocery store. We saw that video. Right. Yeah, that was Right, and I'm going to get assaulted because I'm drinking the wrong type of beer. I think that's more of what it is. It's more of we just don't want to get involved because we don't want to be, you know, it's it's the... Yeah. Tell Alasius in the comments below, do you think this is real? I don't know. I'm, I'm not convinced, but I'm willing to be wrong. Yeah, it just reminds, you know, it reminds me of the whole Nazi thing, right? Oh, you know, they hate the Jews. They're starting to, you know, come for the Jews and stuff. I'm just going to keep my head down because I don't want to get involved and get hurt. Right. And I don't want this, you know, on my Facebook page or I don't want to lose my job over some shit. Right. I, I can see where people are, are a little, little skittish about all that. <laughs>